what does a typical cabin aboard the Queen of the West riverboat really look like? For decks, the vast majority of the rooms are on the second and third decks. And while their letter codes are different, the rooms are nearly identical, regardless of which, whether you're on the second or the third deck. So on the Queen of the West, what does a category AAC 246 square foot cabin really look like? Now to get to the third deck, take an elevator or come up two flights of stairs. The two stern cabins we're going to look at, the smaller ones are down this hallway. And this is the hallway leading to the bow. Going to start with cabin 304. AAC category room, 246 square feet, second largest room on the boat. The room has a key lock. The room has pretty pictures. The standard size closet. There are no safes in the room, so I guess they just trust everyone. The room has a nice full-length mirror, and the storage area is the same as in all the categories of the room. A three-drawer dresser. A standard size desk with three more drawers, enough for a four to five, even a seven day trip. Small TV set, good internet access, at least in this room, 304. And all the rooms lack a refrigerator, a microwave. This room has two side stands, good lighting at night. Cabin does have a small door going out to a very small veranda. Two chairs one could sit in. The windows do not open and they're not anti-glare so anyone standing in our veranda can look inside the cabin but no one can get to our veranda. Standard size toilet with a walk-in shower. The standard amenities, towels, distinguishes this room is a very nice king-size bed with two couches to sit on. In summary, what can one say about the second largest cabin aboard the Queen of the West? The bathroom, the same size as all of the bathrooms, has slightly better amenities, but just slightly. And there is this very dangerous lid. The TV set is small with about 8 to 10 channels, not a large selection. The temperature controls are either too hot or too cold. That's not very accurate. All in all, this is a very suitable 246 square foot cabin to enjoy the Columbia River experience want any service for that day place your do not disturb sign on the door and we will not enter that stateroom if you would like fresh towels place the old ones on the ground and we'll replace it with new ones what does a category AA 186 square foot cabin really look like now we're gonna look at the most common category of cabin aboard the riverboat a A A will knock on the door and see if I can just walk in and see what this room looks like. A nice double bed, or it can be two singles, with a good window view of the nearby shoreline. There's actually a lot of storage space in these cabins. There's three dressers that can hold pretty much anything you would need on a five-day cruise. And if that isn't enough, there are three more full drawers and something underneath the desk with the TV set. So a standard size closet. That the bathrooms are the same in all cabins. In summary, beautiful picture windows of the shore. And this is a nice 186 square foot cabin. Every day we do a different rotation of the room. So tomorrow your room might be clean first. The next day it might be last, but we get to it by the end of the day. And finally, what does a category A cabin really look like? We'll knock on the door and see who's inside. It looks like Mark. Welcome. This is a 147 square foot room, a nice narrow bed looking through the rest of the room. A nice view through two very large windows of the Columbia River. 
a walk-in shower, and a good sized closet. This is a one-person room, and this is a great closet for that. Um, for turn down, we do turn down every evening when you guys are in dinner. If we, we take out the trash, put down fresh towels, if you need any, turn the lights down, all that good stuff. So when you come back, it's all good and cozy to sleep in. The toilet system on the ship is very sensitive. So only thing that goes into the toilet is what comes out of your body or toilet paper.